YouTube, what is up with y'all tonight? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil coming through with another talk video. Is patience really key? Is patience really key? This is going to be simple and quick, man. And I definitely want to hear y'all opinion on this, though, man. Uh, late, lately, now, patience has, been, patience has been key. But, for example, when Nike was dropping all that heat at the top of this year, if you was patient trying to wait for a deal on some of that stuff, man, at the top of the year, you were not going to catch it. So, because, like, you didn't know if it was ever going to drop again. But, like, some people cop stuff off the app or feel like it's about to be exclusive. Then, like, six, five to six months later, you see it in, like, your local store or local mall, man. What do y'all think about that? It'd be like, you almost, not necessarily too much, like, feeling played, but it'd be like, damn, if I just would have waited, I would have copped. Uh... I haven't seen the Nike Air Vapor Max TN joints um, going discount yet, or at least that particular Neon 95 colorway I got. Um, go check that video out if y'all haven't yet. Um, but I thought that was just going to be only an exclusive for Nike sneaker app members or whatever. So I actually just caught mine right off the app. Um, I'm, not, I'm not seeing too many of like the, the Nike Air Max 97 vapor uh max that one with the lime green the tokyo joint i have not seen those in stores but uh so that's where the now the patience is key thing you kind of almost like you almost got to pull the trigger on stuff that you really want now because you don't know you got to make sure to see if it's hyped or not before a release you kind of can almost gauge it right before it release or whatever you could just kind of see if people really want something or not like so uh like so the, like the black cement threes those were those were i felt the hype with that i'm surprised they didn't sell out as quick as they did but they still sold out kind of quick um and what i mean by sell out quick is normally like where you can't you can you can't even effectively get your own size you know what i mean because they'd be selling out and moving so quick but i was actually if y'all already y'all already should see my black cement video already got that kick without being patient obviously because i already knew i felt that hype bubbling nail go and get that kick it is what it is go get it um and you know they didn't linger for a few minutes or whatever like you could have copped or whatever it was just enough where like if you would have cop you knew if you really wanted to shoot you could have copped it off the sneakers app and then just get it like that like, I really didn't hear any complaints about people not getting their pairs unless people want to double and, third and triple up, quadruple up damn near. So, um, everybody basically got the Black Cement 3 pairs. Same thing kind of like with the uh, with the, uh, the Black and Gray ones. Um, I know I'm messing the name. I, don't, I forgot the nickname that quick. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The Black and Gray Jordan ones that just came out. Uh, the Shadow ones. It was like enough around it for everybody to get their pair, but like if you was really gonna try to wait out on a deal, could you, you know, certain releases, but that that's another reason on like how things were hyped light way around it, because it's like, oh, last time it dropped was 2013. Uh Jordan one for 160, you know, and then resellers want to get all involved. So um patience is key though, man, for the rest of the other the stuff that's not really like hype. Um, stuff that you just like waiting on and waiting for. Uh, that's how you really come up and actually get the, the steals that you actually want. Um, as far as me lately, I haven't been too much practicing um, patience is key, all like that. I've uh, I've just been copying what I've liked. Um, but like a Nike Air Max 97 that I end up copying. I waited for that. That was the last patience is key purchase I actually got. Um and and you know it got the patent red, patent leather red and all that stuff. More like the old state colors, but it's the Air Max 1 colors on the Air Max 97. So that one patience was key. And I saved 30 to 40 dollars. So before that, or a lot of my other releases for most of this year, I just been copping on site because uh it might not last. Vapor Max, the Nike Air Vapor Max 97 joints, 
the Tokyo colorway with the green gel bottom. I don't see those anymore. But I'm quite sure you can find those. But I haven't really, I don't know about getting them for a deal and all that yet. It depends on whatever Nike do with this Vapor Max. Will they take the Vapor Max to the moon and make it like crazy legendary? Or will they just kind of like leave it alone like they did with like um, the fly knit or whatever? You know, it was hot for 2012, 2013, all that stuff. But then it just kind of left the fly knit alone. So people, like, so when the, when the Oreo fly knit restocks or drop or something like that, it's not really selling out like how I used to. And by all means, I'm not one of the people that think a shoe got to sell out just to, oh, because it sold out, it's successful. That don't even really mean nothing. You know what I mean? It's still about copping what you like. People be rooting for these some of these brands so hard that be wanting to sell out. I don't know, baby, so they can feel good about themselves, so they can feel like they exclusive or something like that. It's all weakness anyway to me. Me, I don't really care. You know, I'm no filter. This is the realest you one of the realest YouTube channels, sneaker YouTube channels on YouTube on the net, really. So it's like, you know, people be just copying just to try to feel good and exclusive and then try to stone other people. And then they try to resell the shoes for triple to quadruple the price because it's supposedly sold out that day. But then they look at Saudi when it get restocked and then they compare them. They tell <laughs> the buyer compares those stock access prices to a reseller crazy ass prices. You know what I mean? So um, right now, as far as the sneaker game go, this is probably the best time to be a buyer in the sneaker game for kicks that you actually just like. I know a few of my subs feel the same too. You know, it's like death to the reseller. I don't really too much got too much of a problem with uh, resellers, but it's just like getting them unfairly using the bot. It's like if you just hit the button normal like a normal person, then that would be great. Then you just won the regular way and cop the regular way. But, you know, some people got to cheat to win. So it is what it is. But anyway, to round this talk off, patience is key, man. Check the height. Check to see if it's uh, hyped up and all that stuff, man, before you go all out and just blow, you know, blow full, blow retail on some of these kicks. Do the due diligence, man. And if it's not, you know, just just watch it daily or twice daily. You know what I mean? And eventually it's going to come down depending on who you... And look around. I mean, look around on the internet. No, don't just stick to one boutique or one store because they might keep the price like that forever and be out of touch with what the market is. Some of these stores hold on to shoes at retail and then just probably sell them once they like that next year or something like that so just be a little bit everywhere have your hand in a little bit of every boutique or store and never forget to comb the clearance rack too man because you might just end up stumbling upon gems i like stumbling upon heat and gems and all that stuff like damn people sleeping on these i'm copping this so you know so it won't be too much of a watch and paint and dry patience game all the time but you know it is what it is. Rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil. Peace.